swag, 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 swag. What's going on, man? It's your boy Laid Back. Back in here with another review, another reaction, another episode. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification button, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. We right back with another episode of Everyday Struggle. They came back strong on a Monday. Like I said, they normally do pretty good on Mondays. But you could tell from the jump, it was a lot of tension in the air. I don't know what was going on before they started, you know, the show. But it was definitely some tension going on. They first just started getting into Nadeska, going on this little nature event thing that she went over the weekend. So they just started clowning her about that. And you could tell she was frustrated a little bit. But hey, what do you expect out of Joe Budden in, in academics, right? They got jokes and they let them fly. But like I said, it was just a lot of tension in the air. You could just feel it in the beginning of the episode. So they also get into academics having 666 on his Instagram page. If you haven't seen that, I've been keeping up with that for like a week since they brought it up. And it's staying at 666. Y'all let me know what y'all think about academics Instagram posts being at 666. Do you think he just trolling or do you think he actually on some other shit? So y'all let me know. I don't I don't know what to think. He said he's a spiritual guy. I don't know, man. But it was Joe Button was hitting him with that like throughout the whole show with the whole 666 thing. So they get into the Vince Staples comment about Eminem freestyle. You know, y'all probably seen the freestyle by now. Uh Eminem did on the BET Cypher. He was talking about Donald Trump and talking about a lot of things like that. And Vince Staples was like, yo. That joint was trash. <laughs> Yo, that joint was trash. That joint was trash. And so you already know Joe Button, you know, eventually got, you know, aggravated with, with academics and all that type of stuff about the whole Eminem thing. He didn't have nothing to say at first, but then, you know, act kept pressing him. And then next thing, you know, he just started, you know, I don't give a F, you know. <laughs> but, you know, he was like, I'm biased. What do you expect? I'm signed to him. So everybody knows that, right? Everybody know Joe really ain't gonna say nothing negative about Eminem. That's his man, and he signed to him. So what do you expect? But Joe Button came back with, yo, act. You've been talking about this Eminem and this pink record. And this this Eminem joint gonna like that's gonna be Eminem's first single off his album. We need to start fact checking because you was completely wrong. That was actually Pink song, and that was not Eminem song. So he, he was trying to get Act to backtrack on what he was saying because he feels like academics sometimes just spews out information and don't really be having factual information, but just be spreading it. And, you know, Act has a has a huge you know influence on this, the social media world because of his following. So Joe don't be liking that. Like, yo, bro, if you're going to say so, make sure that you accurate in what you're saying. Don't be sitting up here acting like. You, you you got all the facts when we both know that you're completely wrong. So basically, fess up to it. You wrong. You wrong, bro. So, you know, act kind of fessed up to it in a roundabout way. He didn't say I was completely wrong. But, you know, he said it in a in a way that, you know, he kind of agreed. I mean, you got to agree because you was wrong. You was wrong. So anyway, so they was talking about that whole thing. And then... They get back on the 666 thing on this Instagram page. Yeah, man. So Joe asked him, like, yo, look, what does it mean? Because you keep saying sheep, sheep, sheep. Aren't you a sheep? And he was basically saying, look, man, I'm a, I'm the shepherd. And when he said that, yo, hold on, man. Y'all should have seen everybody face on set. When this dude, academic, said that he was the shepherd. Basically, in academics world, he feels like, look, if people is talking about you and everybody flocking to what you're doing, in that instance, in that moment, you're the shepherd and everybody else is the sheep. But if the roles was reversed and you're flocking to what everybody else is flocking to, then in that moment, you the, you the sheep. And, yo, they started cracking on him. You know, the jokes had to fly off of that. You the, you the shepherd? And he called him uh, shepherdemics, I think. Oh. <laughs> Something like that. It was crazy. But look, y'all got to check this episode out, man. It was a lot of tension in the air. You can just see that it was something going on behind the scenes or something like that. But y'all make sure y'all check that episode out, man. I'm back again with another reaction for y'all. It's your boy laid back. Look, hit that, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that like button, man. And we out, man. I'll see y'all next time. Yes, sir.